as you probably already know the interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So let's think about the next simplest shape after a triangle, the quadrilateral with four sides. We can split any four-sided shape into two triangles by drawing a line from one vertex to the opposite vertex like this. Since each triangle has angles adding up to 180 degrees, the quadrilateral's interior angles must add up to 180 times 2, or 360 degrees. In a regular quadrilateral, that is a square, where all the sides and angles are the same, each interior angle is then 360 divided by 4, or 90 degrees. Of course, that would also be true for rectangles, which are not regular, but still have all of their angles equal, because that's all we need for this result to hold. With any five-sided shape, or pentagon, we can draw a line from one vertex to an opposite vertex to split it into a triangle and a quadrilateral. Like before, we can then split this quadrilateral into two triangles, meaning the pentagon can be split into three triangles in total, whose interior angles sum to the interior angles of the pentagon. So the interior angles in any pentagon must add up to 180 times 3, or 540 degrees. So if the pentagon were a regular pentagon, each angle would be 540 divided by 5, which is 108 degrees. A hexagon, that's a six-sided shape, could be split into four triangles, giving us angles that add up to a total of 180 times 4, or 720 degrees. So let's recap. We started with the fact that the triangle's interior angles sum to 180 degrees, we can split the quadrilateral with four sides into two triangles, the pentagon with five sides into three triangles, and the hexagon with six sides into four triangles. So can you see the pattern? The number of triangles we can split the polygon into is two fewer than the number of sides that that polygon has. So if we call the number of sides of the polygon n, then we can split the polygon into n minus two triangles, and so the sum of its interior angles must be 180 times n minus two. By the way, for the interior angles, we have no problem at all with concave shapes that we thought about for the exterior angles. For example, we can split a hexagon that looks like this into four triangles just as easily as we can do with a regular hexagon or any other one. 